Hey, what's up guys? So the newest live balance update on Apex Legends is here and let's go ahead and hop right into it. So first off, this is all posted by a respawn community manager. If you guys would like to read all the information that I'm providing, I will also have it in the pinned comment, but let's go ahead and hop right into it. these nerfs to the wingman as well as peacekeeper. I also want to mention that these are live as of right now on all platforms. Plus we also got a reveal at what also is changing during season one, which probably will hit uh, very soon here, but those aren't live as of right now. These are, however, the wingman and the peacekeeper both took a nerf over here. So the rate of fire has been reduced from 3.1 to 2.6 shots per second. So that's just straight up a nerf. The school piercer headshot damage multiplier is reduced from 2.5 to 2.25. This is actually a really big deal. I uploaded a video recently talking about the helmets and how much damage they actually reduce. But basically what this means is, uh, even if they happen to have level three or four armor, you still have to hit them more than two times in the head if you actually want to finish them off. Uh, I'll just have the video that I recently made down below because it basically goes over all the stat integers and I highly recommend you guys to check that out because this is actually a pretty big deal for the skull piercer attachment and keep in mind this is only affecting the wingman some attachments in this game will affect multiple guns differently uh, but this is just for of course the wingman. They also increase the base hip fire spread and decrease the rate at which hip fire spread decays and that means it, how it shrinks back down. Um, this is kind of actually to match up with the reduced fire rate because if they just reduce the fire rate then of course the hip fire spread would also decrease uh much better because of course you're going to be firing slower so this is probably just to match the rate of fire change as well but the peacekeeper also took a nerf that's the shotgun that pretty much most people go to and again this is another attachment that uh multiple guns can actually use uh, the eva as well as the moza can use the shotgun bolt attachment which is the reach hammer rate uh, it's basically the rate of fire if you kind of want to use that as a reference but anyways the mitigation it used to be 10 percent for the white and that has been changed to 7.5 the blue has been changed from 20 percent to 13 percent and then the level three mitigation uh, the purple would go from 25% to 16%. So that's actually a pretty big change. So again, overall, just straight up a nerf to the Peacekeeper. They also mentioned something that I think a lot of people wanted to know about in the community, and that has to do with the P2020 and the Mozambique. Basically, they're saying, why don't they get buffs? And they said that, you know, we're reading what you guys have to say about the game, so that's good, but they want the game to have a power curve of weapons. So basically, sum it up over here, they want guns for you to use early game and certain guns you should use late game. So that's kind of good uh, in a sense that, you know, they understand that, you know, we want that, that Mozambique buff, right? Uh, but they also made a few changes. Uh, this actually helped some errors that were causing people to disconnect. I don't know how you have Caustic occasionally causing himself to disconnect when he throws his ultimate. I've never had that happen to me, but that's a pretty crazy uh, patch that they fixed. But also when Pathfinder would activate a survey beacon, that's when he's using his ability to find out where the next uh, ring is, he would disconnect. Um, sometimes when people would remove an attachment, they would disconnect. These are crazy. I never had any of these issues, but there is apparently an issue where Gibraltar would disconnect when putting up his gun shield. That's literally when you aim down sights, crazy stuff. And then um, they would also disconnect when entering spectating mode. Again, these are small things that I don't think a lot of us really notice, but I mean, these are being fixed. But the most important thing that I think people really want to know about is, of course, the hitbox. Basically, our goal is to have different characters have different hitboxes, but we really want to balance the game, okay? So uh, basically, they said, we're going to work on this. Please give us some time. We're going to make it at the start of season one. Uh, but these are different changes that will be happening during season one season one is not out so these are not live right now that's very important okay um, i'm guessing tuesday the 12th uh of, you know next week uh, is probably when the new season one will start but i honestly have no idea we don't have an official timeline for that but again these are things that will be happening during season one so they mentioned that the whole uh hitbox uh size reduction these actually will be applying for Caustic, Pathfinder, and Gibraltar. So basically, um, the two larger characters in the game. And Pathfinder, the reason why his hitbox is so weird is because of the way his shoulders are oriented. Those little canister things um, that basically hold his uh, zipline. Those uh, will be adjusted. We don't know what they're going to do. But these are 
other changes that will be happening in the game. So basically, Caustic is getting a buff over here because he's probably one of the least played uh, heroes in the game, or legends. Anyways, Caustic had his traps uh, reduce cooldown to 25 seconds from 30, so 5 second buff. And then in addition to that, the traps increase radius and proximity by 10, uh, about 10%. So basically, it's going to have it be increased by 10%, and that's just straight up a buff. Um, and they also removed a one second delay on the smoke dealing damage to players. So basically, you're gonna get an extra two damage. <laughs> like, it's, it's so small, but sometimes those things matter, all right? It's a small change, but they also increase the proximity, so you might get like another tick, okay? So again, uh, these are just straight up buffs. And then also Pathfinder, uh, the insider knowledge where uh, he basically uh, inserts his like arm into the little uh, thing where it shows you where the next beacon is. That will actually have a buff to it because they're increasing the number of beacons uh, in the world from 12 uh, from previously it being 10. So basically there's two extra ones. Is it that big of a deal? Not really, but I think it's really the hitbox is his main problem. And that's why a lot of people do not like playing, of course, some of the larger characters. Also, Lifeline Care Package over here. Uh, she actually took a nerf over here. So it says, remove slight chance to level four armor and helmets would drop. I honestly did not see that ever, but I don't really play Lifeline. But I have seen the knockdown uh, shield that you can get and I've seen a gold one. So basically you're not gonna be getting any golds um, any more alpha of lifelines. Uh, like I said, it's very, very rare that you even get anything gold, but, um, yeah, they removed the level four armor and helmet. So I guess you can still get the other things, uh, but just not the armor and helmets. Okay. And then Wraith actually took a nerf for her ability into the void. The cooldown is increased from, uh, 20, uh, it was, Formerly 20 seconds, now it's 25 seconds, and Bangalore actually took a nerf as well over here. Uh, double time, that's her passive when she's being shot at. Remember, she does not need to be hit, but she just needs to be shot at, like, in that direction. And the uh, movement bonus used to be 40%, and it is now 30%. So, basically, those are the changes that will be happening in Season 1. Again, that should be, I'm guessing, next, next week on Tuesday, but, again, we don't have an official date on that. But uh, anyways, that's it for the patch notes, guys. I'm not going to drag the video out any longer. But let me know what you feel about any of these changes that we had talked about. Do you guys feel like some of these nerfs were too great? Do you think that... I feel like most people really enjoyed the wingman. Um, that, but it's a skilled weapon. I feel like, you know, if, if you have the aim and you two-tap someone, or you just RNG really hard, just spam it, maybe you get lucky, get the headshot, and you're not going to be able to two-tap people any more with that gun. That, that is, of course, counting them having level 3 armor. But again, check out the video uh, that I recently made on, it basically goes over the sniper and specifically what the helmets do in the game. Because, uh, yeah, I, I uploaded that video, uh, it was super late a couple days ago, and uh, I don't feel like a lot of people got to see it. But anyways, check that out, it'll be in the pinned comment, and if you guys want to read all the patch uh, changes yourself, feel free to go ahead and do so, I will pin that down below. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully that uh, season one will hit because I'm really interested to see some of the new heroes and when that comes out, I'll obviously upload it. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the vid. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more Apex as well as other gaming content. Peace.